Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Kim and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I had promised to show you in my last video when I had my big Joann's haul, mega haul, um, the Tim Holtz items that were clearanced or on sale for 40% off, um, as well as um, Hobby Lobby had a sale of uh, 40% off of all of their um, Tim Holtz. So I was able to get this nice little... Uh, um, mat that I've been wanting to get. So it was 40% off. I think I spent $22 on it, something like that. And, um, so I was happy to, happy to find that deal. And I hear that the coupons for Hobby Lobby will be going away by the end of the month. Now, I don't know what the truth is in that. That's just the rumor that I've heard. So, um, if there's something at Hobby Lobby that you really want to get that's, you know, a little more pricey, now's the time to get it um, in case they do go, uh, do away with their 40% their coupon. So anyway, let me get started with the Tim Holtz goodies that I got. These little pins, which I just love. These little wire pins look so great on tags. So these were all clearanced, uh, red Red clearance, red tag clearance rather. And I got a few packs of these, the little jump rings, because you can always use those. I'm going to try to peruse through here pretty quick because I have a lot. <laughs> these uh, swivel clasps that I've used several times in journals as closures, um, they were red line clearance as well. Uh, let's see. The ball chain, uh, that was clearanced. I'm sorry about the reflection. I'm in front of a window and it's really snowy out, so it's kind of bright. Um, anyway, the ball and chain little doohickeys here, um, they were clearance too. I think these were all clearance like anywhere from like a dollar eighty nine to two eighty nine, maybe three something. Um, so they were really, really inexpensive. Let's see what else I can show you because I got multiples on some of these. Um, I got these, um, the little tokens, which I just love. I use these a lot on my tags as well. And in journals. Yeah, I got another thing of swivel clasps. I won't uh, trouble you with um, looking at all the duplicates here. And then the keys. And I just love these keys as closures. Uh, with some sorry silk or seam binding looks really pretty so um, got these keys they had another style of keys as well but they were not on clearance let's see <laughs> I have a pile over here so bear with me um, the little tiny mini paper clips now, I use these, and I am so stocked up on them, but since they were clearanced, I grabbed them. And now, these are these were clearanced at, at my store here, so I don't know if it's going to be the same across the board, you know, to all Joann's. But also, these, um, these little charms, these are so cute. There's so many cute ones in there with the birds um, and heart and whatnot. So, I grabbed those. Uh, let's see. I grabbed these little snippets because you can never have too many of those. <laughs> A little ephemera pack. And the um, vellum. These are vellum little sh scenes. There's little scenes on them. And, and here are some of the scenes here that you can see. And they're really nice too. Oh, I don't know if I should just hit all the Tim Holtz first. I guess I will. This pack of the Urban, uh, I guess they're Urban, they call them Urban Layers. Um, I hadn't really seen these in many of the stores here where, my, where I'm at. But for 65 pieces, and it was, I don't know, less than $4. So I grabbed that. These here, the little frames, 
they were clearanced and these are just precious i love those uh let's see these were 40 percent off so i grabbed a couple packs the tiny little uh refills In fact, I grabbed several packs. Uh, let's see. I have these all over my desk. <laughs> so let's see. And this I thought was great, a great deal. These were just on sale. And it had all the popular colors. Um, the black soot, walnut stain, the vintage photo, and the antique linen. Um, all great colors to have. And since it was the ink, and I'm always looking for the ink, I grabbed that. And I grabbed some uh, of the new, of the, the blending tools. Now I noticed at Hobby Lobby, they don't sell these anymore. They sell their own brand. So, I don't know. Rumor has it that they're going to do away with Tim Holtz at Hobby Lobby. I don't know how true that is. But apparently they're going to be trying to um, make their own version of Tim Holtz so I don't know I've just heard that from other youtubers so I, you know I'm not too sure on the facts on that uh, this was red line clearance these little charms these charms are precious and then you can just put the little initial in there of whose uh, journal you're making for so I don't see those too often so it was nice to to see those oh let's see oh my gosh I have more on my floor <laughs> uh, let's see these adornments here and these are really pretty and these are nice to use with um oh what is that glue oh forget it. I can't think of the name of the glue uh, accent something accent um um Oh my gosh, it's not coming to me. And these little fasteners I liked. They're very, they're different. They're like uh, octagon or different shapes and different sizes, little tiny ones. And so I liked those. And those were red lined. And then these silver charms. Those are really popular. Told you I went crazy on the Tim Holtz. <laughs> Just a little bit. And these, I haven't seen these in ages, and I'm so glad that I'm stocked up on them um, because they're really fun with journals um, to fasten your um, tassels or, you know, whatever you want to call them, your beads and whatnot on there. Um, they're, so the little ring fasteners is what they're called. But I'm so glad. This was the last pack, and that was redlined as well at our store. I got this Distress Ink kit. And even though I have everything that's in this kit, I thought this would be great for maybe a giveaway? I don't know. Hint, hint. Something's coming in the works. Maybe March? Because I have my surgery. And, um... So I'll kind of be out of commission for a couple weeks. I got these washi tapes. Uh, they were clearanced just in their clearance section. And I really, um, I just liked these three here. <laughs> they were my favorite. There's some, some other things on here like workout, workout. Like I probably won't use that one. Um, today, let's see, the remember... What does it say? Today's focus. That one might be a good one. Um, these here appointment. Because they are made for um, your day planners. So, But I use my washi tapes. Believe it or not, I use them to decorate my Happy Mail. Most, most of the time. And um, those that get Happy Mail or swaps know, know me so well on that. Here, this was... Um, they're just hardware heads. Now they're not, they're not the, um, what do you call it? Boy, I am just out of it today. I'm looking at, I'm looking for them so I can show you the difference. Oh, okay. 
the fasteners with the little thingies on them. <laughs> oh, I'm really good today, aren't I, y'all? Um, but anyway, with the oh, the glossy accents, that's what I was trying to think of how to how to um, the best way to glue metal is I think the glossy accents. So I thought these would be be fun. This was a clearance. And this was like $2, Stormy Sky. I don't know how often I'm going to use blue, but hey, it was on clearance. And that would mean it's not going to be around much longer, which I was surprised because it's an oxide. Now, here are some fun things I found. These are fun. Um, little dragonflies, butterflies, bees. We all love all that stuff. So grabbed one of those. And I'm not really um, familiar with resin. I don't work with resin, um, or I haven't yet, anyway. But I liked these because they were um, acetate. So I can use them on my um, little um, ephemera and tags and whatnot and, and the specimen cards in my journals. So I've got some butterflies. And here are some flowers. And I love this one. And they only had one. But there's, hey, there's 56 in this pack. And I'm um, trying to not get the glare. So they're pressed flowers. I just love these. And I think on the specimen card, these will be really, really pretty. Um, also, they had these acetate leaves. And uh, love these. Grabbed a couple. So there's 20, 20 pieces in the pack. Those are pretty too. And these little stamps. These were clearanced. Over in their little clearance section. Um, not the clearance, like red line clearance section that they have. It's like a hot mess in the back of the store. But there's like, um, it's where all the organizers are and um, punch punches and washi tape and stuff. There's a little clearance section there at our store. And um, I thought these were nice little backgrounds to use on tags and whatnot. I know you probably don't need my little description of what I'm going to use them for, but <laughs> I'm going with it anyway. These are hitch fasteners. And these are really great for closures on journals. Um, when I first started making journals, this is pretty much all I used. And they were clearance, so I, I grabbed those while I could. Some archival inks. Let's see what colors. We have black soot, espresso, hickory smoke, and vintage photo. And they are great. As well I use I think I mentioned to y'all that I use this now more so than I used to just oops the distress ink I still use the distress ink as you can see it's really worn out but the archival ink I'm really in, enjoying it and what else we have a couple oops I missed out there's a couple other let's see one more Tim Holtz that I missed and it's a travel folio and I thought it would be really cool to use as maybe um, like a uh, sample of ideas you know um, I'm trying to think. I cannot get my thoughts together today oh gosh help me um, anyway using it as an example to make other folios so, you know, as an inspiration. So I grabbed this. It's empty. It doesn't have, I don't think, let's see, it has the elastic band, folio. Oh, it does have one notebook in it. So that's helpful. So that's fun. And that might be a fun giveaway too. This I got, this was in the clearance over by the Heidi Swap as well. These little tags and envelopes. Now, I wasn't, you know, I probably won't use these tags very much, but these envelopes, they're little vellum, vellum, rather, 
envelopes and they're teeny tiny. I love those. So they only had one, but I snagged it up. And last but not least, I saw Wendy use this um, and she uses it when she makes some of her um, specimen um, cards. And I don't know how to use it yet. <laughs> I almost think I needed to look at a tutorial on how to do the punches. But anyway, it's it seems like a really fun, easy way to um, to make specimen cards without having to buy kits and whatnot. So I grabbed this. It was on sale. Oh, I don't know. It was either 30 or 40 percent. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So that was my part two to this, the um, Joann's Mega Haul and um, a little information on Hobby Lobby. And again, Hobby Lobby is where I got this uh, glass Tim Holtz. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it has this, which is really cool. Oh, I think it's taped down still. So that's a fun little area too to use with inks and then you can wipe it off. So I will see y'all soon and um, please send, send good vibes and lots of prayers my way. Wednesday I go in for my surgery and then I will be um, out of commission for a couple weeks. But I will uh, pre-record a video and try and get one out for you. So take care y'all. Um, blessings, hugs, and uh, be safe.